Yo, it's your boy, the DOI smart home guy, soon to be the DOI crypto guy, because we are bringing the heat, literally. This is my new heat bit trio. It's a heater that also mines Bitcoin, you guys. I am riding this thing to the moon. Check out how much I've made in just three days. Holy <sighs> Hold on. Yeah, uh, cancel the Lambo. We can't afford it. Not even the Hot Wheels version. Sorry about that, but did you know that Bitcoin space heaters existed? Well, neither did I, but here we are. Full disclosure, HeatBit sent me this unit for free in exchange for an honest review. And I can honestly say, if you get one for free like I did, it's a pretty good deal. But if you have to pay $1,000 for it, or even the $850 sale price, the HeatBit Trio, <laughs> it's an abomination. As a matter of fact, HeatBit offered to give me an affiliate link, but I'm not even going to post it because I don't think you should buy this. But let's start with the positives before we eviscerate this thing with math. The HeatBit Trio does look pretty sharp. It's well built, it's got a nice leather strap, the control panel is clean and simple to use, although I don't know why they didn't also put those controls in the HeatBit app. I mean, this is pretty basic stuff, guys. Nobody wants to get out of bed to turn the heater on and off. So basically, the app's main purpose is to show you how much money you're losing, but we'll get to that. As far as heating the room goes, the HeatBit Trio does do a pretty good job. I mean, it's the same quality job you can get from any number of space heaters that cost $100 or less. The HeatBit has three heat settings, Eco Mode, where it only uses the 400 watt Bitcoin miner to heat the room, Target Mode, where you set a target temperature and it adjusts the heat based on that target, and then Boost Mode, where it uses a supplementary heating element to provide maximum heat. But it also uses additional electricity while earning you no additional Bitcoins. Now, as a bonus, the HeatBit Trio has a built-in HEPA filtration system with two replaceable filters and a couple of sensors to measure the air quality. So, all of that is fine and good, and it's a nice little heater. But you can also get all of that in other machines that cost way less than $850. So why are they charging so much for this thing? Oh yeah, it's because this thing earns you money! Or at least it's supposed to. Now, if you look at their website, it says the HeatBit Trio earns income, but the truth is, you're actually losing money for every second the heater's turned on. Because inside this lovely piece of craftsmanship is an extremely inefficient Bitcoin miner. The ASIC inside here mines Bitcoins at a low hash rate of about 10 terahashes per second. That means running 24 hours a day, that equates to about 394 Satoshis a day, or 0 0.00000394 Bitcoin. With the price of Bitcoin hovering around $89,000 right now, the heat bit is earning me a whopping 35 cents a day. However, to mine that Bitcoin, it is using 400 watts of electricity. Now I pay about 13 cents per kilowatt hour, which means this thing costs about $1.25 a day to run. So if you're running this purely for Bitcoin, you're actually losing 90 cents a day. Now, even if you live in your parents' basement, so your electricity is free. Hey Ma, can we get some meatloaf? At 35 cents per day, it'll still take you almost seven years running 24 seven to pay this heater off. But nobody's running a space heater 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I mean, I live in Minnesota, a state you're all making fun of for being too cold, which, fair, it is. But even we don't have to heat on year-round. So it's likely this thing would only be running six months a year tops, and probably not even all the time if you're smart, which means it would take at least 14 years to pay itself off. And I would wager that the Vikings have a better chance of winning the Super Bowl in the next 14 years than this does of still effectively mining Bitcoin for that long. And I know your bros are saying, but what if the price of Bitcoin goes to the moon? Then you'll wish you had this heater. No, if the price of Bitcoin goes up, I'll wish I bought a cheap $100 heater and invested the extra $750 in Bitcoin. No matter how you look at it, the math is always going to win. I even made a calculator. It's online. You can use it yourself. Check the link in the description so you can do all the math, even if you compare the HeatBit Trio to the overpriced Dyson HP1, which is also on sale right now for $500. You'll see that buying the $500 heater and investing $350 in Bitcoin is always the better option. If the price of Bitcoin doubles to 178,000 three years from now, you'll have barely broken even with the Dyson, even if you shove the $350 in a drawer. But if you had invested that money in Bitcoin, you'd be $400 better off than if you had purchased a HeatBit. And the higher Bitcoin goes up, the worse deal the HeatBit becomes. Here are your returns if Bitcoin hits $500,000. And if Bitcoin hits $1 million like some weirdos are projecting, you made a costly mistake buying a HeatBit. And that's compared to a $500 heater. If you had done the really smart thing and bought a $100 heater and invested $750 in Bitcoin, you'd have made thousands more dollars than if you had bought a heat bit. Now keep in mind, these numbers are all at the lowest heat setting using only the Bitcoin miner for heat. If you crank up the heater to the full 1500 watts, you'll get more heat, but it triples the electricity used without any increase in the Bitcoins you get. 
Look, I've got no axe to grind against the people making the heat bit. When they offered to send it to me, the idea of using excess heat created from mining Bitcoin to heat my home, I mean, it seemed like a pretty clever idea. But the numbers here, they just don't add up. Now, I've seen some YouTubers and some reviewers and they're fawning over this thing, but they are either motivated by the affiliate opportunity or they just didn't do the math. The bottom line is, if you think this is a cool gadget and you just don't care that it makes any financial sense, heck, go for it. But this is not passive income, right? This is not an investment and it's not smart economics. My final verdict, if you want heat, buy a heater. If you want Bitcoin, invest in Bitcoin. And if you want to waste $850, buy a heat bit trio.